I see uh, Stendhal as a kind of best practice. Uh, it's, of course, it's not a research university, it's not high on the international rankings. Uh, internationally, it's not known, but that's, that's not important. I mean, there are so many universities around the world, uh, so you cannot say, well, Stendhal is on the, on the very top, like Harvard. But what it is, is a best practice on its international operations. It has uh, a very solid international policy, uh, and uh, in that sense, Universities around the world can learn from what Stendhal is doing, trying to mix all kinds of different components, which in general in other universities are isolated and fragmented, into one comprehensive approach. First of all, what I think they can learn is that Stendhal uh, has uh, developed a strong focus on the Grand Tour and how to integrate the international experience by the Grand Tour in the internationalization of his curriculum. So that uh, students really learn something when they go abroad, are prepared for the experience abroad, and bring something back from the experience abroad. That's what uh, others can learn, because that doesn't happen. In general, when the students go abroad uh, in an Erasmus program, whatever, it is an isolated activity. Nobody really uh, cares about it. It's not, the students are not very well prepared. Uh, when they come back, nobody asks them, what have you learned? Uh, in Stendhal they try, and still they can improve it, but they still try to integrate it much more in the curriculum. And I think that's, that's something which uh, uh, other universities can learn from Stendhal. Well, for the Grand Tour we think that the preparation can even be better for students to go. We also think that uh, now too much it is a one-way, Stendhal, Leeward and students going to either uh, Qatar or South Africa or Bali or uh, Thailand. We think that's also important that students from those campuses go to each other's and go to Leeuwarden. So it becomes much more a kind of community. And uh, also we think that more staff, teaching staff, administrators should be going on the ground tour, should learn from each other. Because if it's only the student, uh, then what happens with the faculty? If the teachers are not uh, knowing the different branch campuses, don't have the international experience, then they not can transfer that message to the students. So you have to combine that as well. I think that's uh, a very important uh, uh, addition to what they are doing now, that they make it much more a really international standing community of students and faculty. We, uh, we have learned from our experience that uh, where we were before uh, critical about standards internationalization policy, that uh, it is much better than before, so that we have learned. Uh, many in the Netherlands are rather critical about standing because they don't know what is happening. And they have seen the writing in the newspapers about it, that uh, it is a commercial enterprise and not an education enterprise. We have learned that it really has been transformed from a more commercial enterprise over the past years into an educational experience. And that uh, is what we have seen and we try also to transfer some message. Go on with that process uh, and Dutch higher education, look at Stendhal as a way what you can learn from them as well, how to improve your international operations. The ministry has to uh, help Stendhal University to really uh, be allowed, like other Dutch universities and hogescholen, to be active internationally. At the moment, the regulations in the Netherlands do not allow Stendhal and others to be active. Stendhal has still taken the initiative, now it is criticized for doing that, where the opposite should take place. They should say, well, this is innovation, this is new, this is good, and we can learn from it. So the ministry has to, uh, to allow them, and then Stendhal can be an example for the other universities in, and hogeschool in the Netherlands to also be active. Not in the same places, but go to Latin America, go to uh, the Antilles, go to Suriname, go to uh, Africa and do something which you, is important for your students because not everywhere you need hotel management or tourism or international business, but you can do it in other disciplines. But you can learn from Stendhal's experience how to operate if the ministry does allow them and Stendhal to continue to be active. Even although Stendhal has to improve and we made a lot of recommendations how to improve uh, its internationalization policy. We still think that Stendhal is far ahead to most universities and uh, University of Applied Science in the Netherlands.